Come here, you my lady, got no time for that How could you, moving like you crazy, I ain't call you back you guys this is your girl divine shay and welcome back to the heavenly squad as you can tell by the title of this video i'm going to be showing you all how to achieve this red hair color you know what i'm saying but first please make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell and stick with your girl throughout the whole video the whole video okay you feel me yes but i'm gonna be showing you guys how i achieved this vibrant red with different undertone color look it's very beautiful and it's by exotic Remy hair so it's fabulous you what you doing if you ain't got exotic Remy hairs what are you doing with your life like go shop now go to instagram go to exotic roomy hairs and shop her site now you will not be let down okay but anyways yes if you have not yet subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel by hitting that little subscribe button and the little notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified of when i come to you guys with new videos content of any sort please feel free to hit that description button down below okay down below well it's not a button but feel free to visit my description box down below where you will find all my social media pages and platforms please follow me on them all and support your girl in all of my endeavors that i am doing so click them links down there also support my music get my music out there you know get it heard because yeah but that's not what this video is about it's about how i achieved this beautiful vibrant red hair color <laughs> i have to take a moment to film myself real quick but now without further ado let's hop right into this video okay you guys as you can see right here i have my natural straight hair all the bundles are right here they kind of have a wave to them but they're straight they're all in the color natural the frontal as you can see is very very nice it's pre-plucked it does have baby hairs on it already and the hair is very soft very very soft and I'm gonna be changing it from its natural color to the excellent high color highlights red highlights in magenta by l'oreal technique so this is the before and i will be showing you the after okay you guys right now what i'm about to do is i'm going to put half of the 40 developer and i'm going to fill it to the number four And then I'm going to put the rest to the number probably eight, eight and a half of 30 developer. I think I'll do it at eight. Now, for this, I think I should be able to get the majority of the bundles um colored if i need some more i'll add a little more developer and a little more of these but i'm gonna use two of these so far inside of here and i'm gonna go ahead and add them in Oop! hold on gotta puncture it and we're just gonna you see this a little bit i don't want to waste it so i'm just gonna you know try to get it off of there Get off of that. Get off of that. Now. We're just going to mix that in there. It's kind of hard to get out of here, but it takes patience. Which some don't have. <laughs> I would say for the most part, I believe I have patience. Mm. 
and to be safe make sure you cap it back off especially if you have children cap it back off place inside box so it can get thrown away properly excuse the noise in the background it's my children I don't know why they're doing that but yeah we're gonna open up another one Okay, if anything, I'll probably just mix it with the end of this. So, uh, if you hear my son in the background, disregard that. I know all of us have them children who just sit and whine for no reason. And he's my one. He just whines for no apparent reason. Now, what I'm about to do is start to, ooh, got a piece of my closure in there. You know what? I'm going to try to mix it like this. As y'all can see, it's turning colors. You're just going to keep mixing until it is smooth. You do not want that hair color to be lumpy inside of your mixture at all. At all. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you by doing the closure first. And then basically all of the steps are going to be repeated for the closure, the same steps I did on the closure are going to be the same steps that I'm going to do on the bundles as well. So I'm not going to hold y'all up and have y'all wondering, okay, is anything going to change? You don't want no white. So make sure you scrape the sides and get that out of there. Now what I'm going to do is just like that and I'm gonna grab it from down here so I don't dye my hand and I'm fixing to just mix that up like that like so I'll make sure it's very smooth now let me show y'all the consistency this is exactly what it should look like now let me put y'all back down you guys and now the next step is going to be apply this to this. And this is the closure. It is a 4x4 closure. So, yes, you guys. We're going to be slaying. But, yes, let's jump right into the next clip. Okay, you guys. I am back and I'm better. All right, we're going to start with the end and we're going to just brush that on like this now this is where I'm going to explain to you guys this is a color that is going to change and you do not have to use no bleach the beauty isn't it ah, I got on my hand I love that I love that about this that you're not gonna have to use no bleach at all to achieve a bright red on this hair and you're just gonna you know make sure it's very saturated Try 
try not to miss no parts of the hair at all. Now, I feel like my red is probably going to have dimensions to it, which I don't mind at all. I feel it's better to have dimensions to your hair coloring rather than it just, you know, be blah. You know what I'm saying? It's always great to be different from other people. Now, if you prefer to do this on foil, you can. And also, I recommend if you drop any, as I just did, onto your kitchen surface. Ugh. <laughs> you guys, the struggle is real right now. Wipe it off the best way you can and just keep going. As you can see, that's how much I have on there. And as you can still obviously hear in the background, my child. So I'm about to probably have to take a quick break, you guys, off this video. I am so sorry. But the life of a YouTuber, hairstylist, and mother. And his sisters are very bossy. Which I don't know where my children get that from because I did not raise my kids to act like this. And then they all want to always tell on each other when they're all doing the same thing. Like, how are you going to come tell on me for what you do too? Wine. Sit and wine. This is pretty much like a watch me color and chit chat about being a mom and public figure. <laughs> And I want to make sure it is in there, in there, in there. It says let it sit for uh, up to 30 minutes. But I want this red to take very well in the hair. So what I'm going to do is use my own rules. And I'm going to let it sit possibly 60 to 90 minutes. Now, as y'all just seen, I did this side. I'm going to flip it over just to make sure I get the undercoat. And the reason why I'm not worried about uh, bleaching, my, ow, bleaching my knots or anything right now, because once the wig gets constructed, what I can do is apply foundation to this area to match my skin tone. And it'll still look like natural scalp. Just a, you know, a little pointer for you guys out there who didn't know about that. You can easily apply the foundation to it and make it look just like it was your scalp and not have anything to worry about. And it's a good thing I flipped it over because as y'all obviously could see, there was a lot of spots up under there that still needed to get the color applicator on it. Now, one second, you guys, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, what I'm just going to do now is just gently comb. And the reason why I'm combing through it, my hands are probably going to have red on them. I should have known better and put on some gloves. But I did not put on no gloves, which is fine by me. I'm always doing something a little messed up, but hey, I don't mind having colorful hands. <laughs> this red is going to be beautiful now that's out the way Here's my little tissue I've been wiping the counter with. Make sure I get the hair. Make sure it's not going to hang off. Okay. So, we got one there. Scoot that over. Now we're going to get the bundles. With the bundles, <coughs> you're going to repeat the same thing.
wear a short sleeve shirt it is hot outside i'm having to tell my son about himself because he he is only four years old and thinks he's grown how many of y'all got kids out there like that leave it down below in the comment box because i i mean this is ridiculous and i, I just want to know i'm not the only mother out there who go through this Your shirts are very cute, just like you are, so put it on. Do you hear me? I know most people speed up their videos <laughs> to make it like, okay, this is actually going pretty fast, but I'm actually applying this fast because it's not hard to do. So, if you want, you can open your bundles, but that's why I said mine is going to have some dimension and probably like different high and low lights to it. But I'm not going to open my bundles. I do not want to open my bundles so that's where my uniqueness comes in now I'm gonna go high up as I can on the weft now I need to get out my big comb because the hair gets a little thicker and just comb through that like that like so and just go over it again I can already tell it's going to be beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's going to be gorgeous. Now, I'm taking it right now and I am flipping it over so we can get the other end. As y'all can see, I'm just simply brushing it on. Brushing on hair dye does not really take that long. That's why it looks like I'm moving super duper fast. I mean, I am. Because I got to keep in mind, I am a mother. I am a stay-at-home teacher. I am a home health provider. I am a singer. I am a model. I do a lot of different things. So, I have to... Make sure I make time for all of those different things in my life. I don't know why I tried to start from the top. Don't do that. Do not comb from the top first. Work your way from the bottom up, especially when you're dealing with bundles. Hi, buddy.
Some people, you know, like to make their wigs and then dye it. I did that on my last wig. But, um, that was kind of hard. So, not again. Not again. On to the last bundle. And I will be back once it is time to do the rinsing. Okay, you guys. It is now time for me to get ready to rinse the bundles. They have set for about 90 minutes or longer. I'm going to be using Aussie Cleanse Men Shampoo and Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner to rinse these out. So I'm going to start with the frontal first. Wrap. Take it out the baggie. And get it unfolded. As y'all can see, it did start turning red. The lace is red. I'm not worried about that. Now it's time to apply the shampoo. And now we're going to apply the Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner just to make sure we keep our hair nice and soft. This red took so beautiful to it. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. So, I think I'm in like. Not in love, but I am in like, you guys. Now, what I'm fixing to do is I'm going to bring it over here like this. And go down it like that. get the majority of the water out y'all can see the color a little bit but it needs to dry and now I'm gonna repeat the same step with the bundle as you can see I didn't detach it or anything so let's get to rinsing It looks more like it's a maroon while it's wet, but I'm pretty sure it'll brighten up after it completely dries and you'll be able to see the color. That's basically any hair color gets darker when it gets wet. So, Yeah, now let's shampoo this one. After I shampoo this one, I'm going to repeat the same steps with the remaining bundles. And then I'll come back to you guys once the hair has completely dried and let you see the outcome of the bundles and the install of it all i will come back with a video of that once the wig has been constructed you guys so bear with me i 
I love that it is Brazilian straight hair. It is a lot more easier to rinse than curly hair. Which any hair that you get from exotic Remy hairs, it's pretty easy to color it and rinse it. Whether it's Indian deep wave, Brazilian curly, Brazilian wavy. Any of her hair is very easy to color and to rinse. Alrighty, time for the conditioner. Now I'm going to rub it on both sides and then just massage it in there. You going to make sure your hair is very soft. And yes, I am in my kitchen because I think that's the best place to rinse it because the sink is like, I think steel or something like that. So the colors don't stain or stay on the white of like the tub, the shower, bathroom sink, stuff like that. So yeah. That's how it's looking so far. And I'll be back, you guys, after I complete the remainder bundles. And once it dries, I'll let you see how it looks dry. Okay, you guys, as you can see right here, the hair is dry. There's the frontal. Here are some of the bundles. And it came out a very beautiful, vibrant red color. Exactly what I was looking for. Once they come unraveled, you'll be able to see the undertones afterwards, but I will make sure um, to uh, bring those tones to life with a little more red to them. I don't want them to be too brown looking, but this is the finishing touches, and I hope you guys loved the way they look and enjoyed this video. Alright you guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to share it with anybody else who it may help. Because I know it can help a lot of people because you know what? This color is bombdiggity.com. Okay? And the hair is soft and does not shed. So, yes. You know what I'm saying? If you want to help somebody else be fabulous... <laughs> What you doing? Share this video, okay? But no, I love you guys, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Remember, if nobody else loves you, God loves you, and so do I. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join the Heavenly Squad. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them linked down below in the comment box, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Y'all have a blessed day. Mwah! Oh, no.